Hey guys, check out what I'm serving up today. I am in the middle of checking in some new inventory and I wanted to show you a few different crystals here. Blue Appetite, Fluorite, and Amber. I have some really great specimens here and I wanted to just um, show you what I'm in the middle of checking in. Um, these will be available on my store, but this is also a really great learning opportunity to show you a few of these stones and what they're all about. Okay, so we've got some new pieces that I'm checking in here of fluorite, and this is one of my favorite ones. This is a piece of, well, it's green fluorite, but you can see the blue in there as well. So it's kind of a blue-green, and it's just such a nice, heavy, soapy piece. And you can tell right here is where the blue is starting to grow. Ugh, it's like a total mermaid stone. I hope you can see that. Beautiful. Um, this is what blue fluorite looks like. This is a really wonderful specimen. And blue fluorite is rather rare. You don't find it nearly as often as you do purple and green and white. And this is just, this is a really beautiful piece. And you can kind of see how fluorite grows by looking at this piece. It grows in a um, kind of a cubic formation, an octahedron. And here's another piece here that shows you the growth formation of what fluorite looks like. So inside, if you go in there like and look with a microscope, it's going to be made up of all these little teeny tiny octahedrons. That's the molecular structure, the crystalline structure of this stone of fluorite, regardless of whatever color it is. So you can see all of those octahedrons in there. Fluorite is a great overall stone for cleansing and repairing your auric field. It works well with all chakras and it helps with manifestation work, worried thoughts, and anxiety. Blue fluorite, in particular, enhances creative and orderly thought and clear communication. And green fluorite is especially helpful to one's heart chakra. So moving on from fluorite, take a look at this beautiful blue appetite I just got in today. This is a beautiful sphere, perfect for bringing calming energy into any space. The, mm, the energy from the sphere radiates outward all around. So imagine this ball glowing. That's the way that the energy would radiate from a sphere. So that's why it's really great. Uh, perhaps in the middle of a room or in the middle of a small space. And blue appetite is a little bit difficult to find. These pieces that I'm selling come from land in Canada. The energy of blue appetite stimulates the third eye chakra. This is a good stone to place on your pillowcase to aid with lucid dreaming. Emotionally, blue appetite is a very uplifting stone. It can help one gain a higher perspective on situations. Blue appetite can be used to soothe headaches and to stimulate eyesight. It can also aid with vertigo and dizziness. And it's an overall calming and cooling stone. I'll show you the amber. So amber is not even a crystal. Amber is the sap that comes from trees. And it's very, very, very lightweight. But my favorite part about amber is just looking at the flow of it. Ugh, it's just so cool to look at. And then you turn it over and look at that. You get the imprint of the tree that it was growing on. Not all pieces, but a lot of them. So most of these you can really kind of see how it was growing. There's part of that tree in there. Uh, this piece is actually Baltic Amber. It comes from the coast of the Baltic Sea. And um, it's known, that, that coastline is known for Amber. And it's dark, beautiful pieces. And there's like millions of years of little bugs and cool things inside there. Love, love, love. And this little piece is awesome too. I wanted to show you this. This is actually, so here okay, you can see the amber that is here with the, this is the tree bark that is now becoming petrified. So it's 
turning it to, to stone. We've got the amber in there. That's a better look at what that tree bark is looking like as it's turning to stone and petrifying. Pretty cool. Um, but there's some mica in here as well. See those little sparkles? That's mica growing in there too. So this is just a really super neat piece. And if you look inside here, there's like this neat little wonderland. It's really cool. And so as I mentioned, amber is not really a crystal at all. It's a tree resin that has solidified and become fossilized. Super cool. And it's good for so many different things. But just to name a couple here, uh, it's really great for cleansing energy, for protection, for creativity, and for busting depression. It's really um, very, very good for your sacral chakra as well as your solar plexus chakra. So thanks for taking a look at my new inventory with me. If you would like to take a look at my shop, I invite you to come visit anytime you like. We're open 24-7 online. And you can find our shop on Etsy.com. Our shop name is Blue Moon Shadow. I hope to see you there. Rock on.